Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where I'm going to be giving you a very professional look through the market today. I want to approach this once again as you're looking over the shoulder with me. As we go into the Bitcoin chart, I'll be explaining my current trades, why I am bullish looking for higher prices, you know, really reviewing the past 24 hours of price action so you can fully understand what went on here and what I am looking for next. I am expecting new highs to be made. I'm in long trades and closed down shorts. I want you to really understand these reasons of why I have my current bias. My aim of this video is to really educate and help you so you can truly understand what's going on and that you are really prepared for what's to come next. To do so, I kind of just recommend you just pay full attention to my words and what I'm saying. I'm gonna be sharing some really great insights and knowledge with you in this video. So yeah, let me help you pay attention, and let's go straight into what you're here for, and that is the analysis. So, of course, we've had a few different trade setups over the past 24 hours, of course, mainly longs as we were down at the bottom of our range. As I was saying to you, we had simply gone from range low to range high, to range low, to range high, to range low, and now here we are coming back up to range high, really simply range bound. At the bottom of the range, we obviously had a few different trade setups. The first was a swing failure pattern, which I mentioned to you that I took. That was off of around our 26,600 target. You know, while we were still, you know, above that level, I'm still expecting low, I'm still, you know, waiting for those targets. And then when we got the swing failure pattern, of course, onto the NPOC as well, uh, for me, that was our major target being hit. And yes, it was a long trade entry. Of course, then after that swing failure pattern, we ended up going sideways for a good day here. And for me, this is, you know, time to remain patient. There's not a trade set up here. We have to then wait for another decrease in price. Where well, we were looking, of course, yesterday in the public video for the uh, three drive setup or simply a rise to the top of the range, which is what we're getting. And this is what I mean by we sometimes need a little bit of patience and more data. As I was posting over here on Twitter for you, with patience, we can wait for more data to come to us and see new trading opportunities. After reviewing Bitcoin volume, I saw extreme bullish CVD divergences into a third touch bullish long setup. This was a great trading long setup once we see the delta and imbalances. Okay, so this was posted to you over on Twitter yesterday, but basically it's the post from within inside my group, right? And so yesterday, as we were approaching once again 26,600, that key level, there was absolutely crazy, massive bullish divergences. Just look at this, massive bullish divergences. And look at all these shorts opening, 9.5 million negative delta, 13 million negative delta, 5 million negative delta, 2.8 million negative delta. We just saw shorts going absolutely crazy. Very big amount of shorts opening at the very low, okay? But what that done was bullish divergences into a third touch setup. And like I say to my team, this is a nice long trade setup. This is what it looked like as I posted that, okay? So we had the third touch setup. Obviously, we had a few days, well, one day before, the long from the 26,600 swing failure pattern. Fast forwards 24 hours. Now we have another long from 26,600 third touch setup. So this went and obviously played along very nicely. This is a level that I've been prepared and waiting for, of course, as I showed you, look at the perfect tap of that NPOC that we had. Very nice indeed coming down there at around 26,400. So we tapped the naked point of control that we had. We had a few days before that SFP off of 2,600, 26,600 long trade entry. And then we were provided the third touch setup which is a, a setup that I teach of another bullish long entry, this time with the divergences, with the imbalances, and then we change the one minute structure. And of course, when you're ready and prepared for these trades, like here was a daily update from the 21st, and you know, I've been ready and aware of this level for a long time. Here you can see, looking for around 26,600, there's the entry. You know, I've given this trade setup in a daily update to my team. It's undeniable that I've not, <laughs> you know, I've been, let's just say this, I've been very prepared, I've been very much ready and aware of this level, and when it comes to the time, I'm not going to be scared, I'm not going to be hesitating. Why? Because I've been prepared, I've been ready, and then we come to that level, I've confirmed to my team, this is a long trade entry on the 27th, then yesterday, I've told my team another nice long trade entry here. And, you know, this is just a setup from the daily live stream updates that I've been giving that has been one that I've been ready and planned and prepared for, right? So, you know, when we 
see that extreme bullish CVD, you know, this is, of course, the time to take that long trade that we've been ready and waiting for. And again, yesterday, um, in this section of the chart, for me, there was not a long trade to be had. You had to wait to see the data come in. You see that data, well, then it obviously gives a long trade entry. You get a bit of a bounce taken out the last high. Then once again, here, you don't really have another trade entry. It's just, well, if you've got the long trade, great, you can remain patient. That patience in the end pays off. As I say to my team, fortune favors the bold as we really start to get this pump underway yesterday. You know, this is a really nice start. You know, fortune really does favor the people that, you know, have the confidence. And as you can see here, a few more posts from my group, you know, this long trade setup really can turn into a nice swing trade for 29,000 plus dollar targets. This was before we hit the daily, of course. <laughs> After this, we pumped straight through the daily, as you can see here, straight through the daily, really nice indeed. But I was telling my team, yeah, this can go to $29,000 plus. Closed down a large percentage of my short from 28.6K. I have a bullish buyer expecting higher prices. We'll let the longs run. No shorts for me at the moment then. Bullish, want new highs, and the longs are open, you know, very clear trading updates and biases. This is from the Discord. This is from the daily live stream updates, right? So if you want those clear biases, clear trading setups, well, of course, this is what you can achieve and get via Chart Champions, okay? Really, really putting in a lot of effort to make everything easy to understand, okay? So we come down, we hit our long trade setup. On top of that, I start to see order flow coming together we get nice long trade setups at the very low of the move, right? Okay, we are then ended with this lovely rise to the upside. So now I wanna be explaining what we are looking for next. Okay, so we've had this large rise. I'm looking for, of course, above this high for now, which comes in at um, 28,945. Okay, so let's just say more or less 29K, right? So at the moment, I'm looking for that. So I'm putting myself in a scenario again where, yeah, I could be wrong and we drop from here. And if I'm wrong, I can hold up my hands and say, I got that call wrong. I'm always more than happy to admit when I'm wrong. If and when, it's been a little while since I've got a very large call like this wrong, let's be honest. You can do your own research and verify that. But it's been a while since I've got a very, you know, large call wrong when I've had this confidence. But if I get it wrong here, I'm, of course, I'll be happy to admit it. But then, of course, when I get it right, I also also like to come in here and say, hey, <laughs> that was a good setup, right? That was uh, getting bullish right at the very long of the move, at the low of the move. Uh, so now I want to explain what I'm looking for next, okay? So make sure you're paying attention to that. Um, one announcement that I'd want to do, and it's just... Uh, you know, this talking about, obviously, you know, the $100,000 giveaway and all that what we were doing, right? So we don't really announce all of our charity work and donations, uh, but it still nevertheless is, you know, if we sometimes get the, the replies of thank you, you know, to quote that and say, you know, of course, we're, we're here to help primarily in trading, right? But we can also be in this fortunate position to be able to help back, give donations and really help support the people in, in need. And for me, I just say this with my hand on my heart, like I feel absolutely blessed to be give back and help so many others just because I trade well. You know, I trade well and uh, from that I'm able to help help back and, and really change some other people's lives. Trading lives, changing lives with uh, the education that I give, but also then able to like give donations and that, right? So I'm just mean this. I will never, never stop caring and loving for everybody. And this was a nice little story from uh, Isabella. Um, <clears throat> you know, this is a, a, a kid with with um, with uh, basically cancer, right? So it's like a really, it's one of these like really sad stories. Um, if, if you are also feeling the kindness, then you can see the GoFundMe page and, and put in some help and support. You know, every little helps. And um, yeah, this was just a um, message of thanks that we had. And, you know, it's kind of good sometimes to spread the spread the love and positivity. Uh, we don't do this for, you know, looking good or for the image. You know, we do this because we really do care. We're not here announcing everything that we do. But, you know, at times it's sometimes good, I think, to just uh, remind people that in this world you can be kind, you can be helpful. And karma is, I'm a strong believer in karma. If you do good things, you get good things back, right? So, uh, and I'm not doing this for a uh, good karma in my trading results, <laughs> but maybe I do have that guy looking over me and uh, do good things and uh, I win my trades. Who knows if that's the case or not, but uh, at the end of the day, yeah. 
whatever, if you can spare something in life, even if it's just your time, you've got people that would really appreciate just to have some time. You know, there's a lot of lonely people in the world. Um, and you don't need to just give money, right? If you don't have a lot, then you can just give you somebody your time, speak to someone, hug someone, tell you you love them. And, and I tell you, you can change somebody's day um, or, or maybe even turn around their life with the right support. So, um, yeah, never look down on anyone. If you see somebody that's in a hard place, you know, don't judge them. Really try and understand their situation. And if you can help and if you can't help with monetary values then of course just giving someone your time you know you see someone struggling on the streets you can give them their time have a conversation i can guarantee that's going to make them feel very good um because most people judge these people uh, and i think it's not fair so any i, I digress from that <clears throat> and i just say yeah of course <sighs> yeah i don't want to yeah that, that's all i want to say so yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, I start to get emotional with this as well. So I'm just going to be like, yep, let's go back to the charts. Uh, for me, yeah. So we are looking at Bitcoin. <laughs> yes. I have got a bullish bias, right? And I'm expecting higher prices. If we fall down here, when we make lower high, lower high, lower high. Well, I clearly got my bias wrong. And, uh, I, I, you know, I, I, I got that wrong and I'll hold my hands up. But for now, yes. I'm looking for higher. I'm not going to be dragged into a short position here. Just as I didn't short this secondary test, right? I shorted the overall SFP, didn't short this retest, okay? Um, so for me now, I'm, I'm looking for higher. I'm not looking for another lower high. Look like to see higher. Of course, then we have up to 29,500. And we have this, all of this that we have around, at, you know, 30,000, 30,050. And of course, we're looking for 32, 33,000 dollars. Uh, this is more of a lower term time frame day traders update just to explain what went on yesterday, explain why I'm not shorting here, why I really don't think we'll put in the lower high. I'm looking for higher. Of course, there's always the possibility that we put in another swing fire pattern of this high just as we SFP here. We can be aware of an SFP here. Um, you know, it's obviously a great possibility. This is at the moment just range round, right? Range low, range high, range low, range high, range low. Let's see if we can get up to range high. That's what I'd like to see. And then we'll either get another SFP or failed auction, or we break out the range and we get back up to plus $29,000. So at the moment for me, of course, I'm looking for higher. I'm bullish out of my shorts. Um, bullish bias and, and would like to see higher, okay? This was all given to you in the time as it was happening on the original long trade off of 2,600 two days ago. Yesterday in my group, as soon as I see this forming, you know, that I'm not hesitating. I'm telling my team we got the big bullish CVD divergences. We're on the bullish third touch setup. Do your own research and look at the timestamps, right? There's, there's not a delay here. As soon as I see this, I'm telling my team, you know, I'm really literally saw that coming in at 12 and then I waited for the one minute market structure and then we got the one minute market structure change and then I told my team yeah this is a really good long okay this is an aggressive long as soon as you see this but then when we got the one minute market structure change which was around 15 minutes later it's like yeah this really is a good long trade setup now um for, for me this is you know, that, that, that's what I waited for there. I waited for the new data, I waited for the divergences, said that saw the third bullish you know, third touch setup. Personally, didn't long that aggressively, but then when we see the one minute market structure change, I just had really big confidence that, yeah, now we've got so many multi millions of trap shorts down here. Um, you know, this is lining into something that's going to be a very powerful move to the upside. And that's why I made it clear, even to you over on Twitter yesterday, you know, I'm really expecting some extreme move here. And, you know, then also posting this, like this really has the potential for a $29,000 plus. We've just seen so many trap shorts now. This is very bullish. Um, you know, I'm closing down short trades before we've even hit the high. I'm not waiting for the stop loss. I'm closing these down. I'm, you know, holding on to my longs now and I'm expecting higher. You know, you can see it's all very clear laid out. I'm really, really trying my best. Uh, of course, doing daily updates. I've got a live stream tonight if you're interested. So a live stream tonight for the contenders and the champions. Uh, I've got another live stream tomorrow for the champions, of course, with my daily morning update. So I'm doing a lot of effort, putting in a lot of time. Uh, that's for the live streams. That's for my updates here. You know, just trying to make it really clear. Any question that you have, I'm answering. All of the questions that come in about my charts, you're getting the answers. You know, before, you know, three days ago, still saying I'm expecting lower targets, of course, below 27K, you know, 
no reason to think it's not going to hit. Then when we hit my targets, I'm answering the questions of, is this a good long entry? I'm saying, yes, it's a good long entry. You know, I'm then giving my own analysis and saying it's a very nice long. Well, we're literally at the very low of the move pretty much. So I'm doing a lot of effort, making it very clear. And of course, on top of all of that live content, the main focus of the group is, of course, the educational content where we got a built-in journal on the website for you. We got the cheat sheets. We got the templates. So if you wanted this template to see the exact dollar low here, that was the exact dollar low here off of that NPOC. Like, that's the templates. You can see the power of them. Of course, we got the speed runs. We got the courses. That's why I'm putting a lot of my time in at the moment on the Elliott Wave. So if you want to learn all of that, that's what you can get over at chartchampions.com. I wanted to wrap it up there and say thank you ever so much. If you want my insights and, of course, the other coaches, you know where to get it, chartchampions.com. Thank you ever so much, everybody. And let's wrap it up and see if I can get my target hit of higher prices to come. That's what I'm looking for. Well, let's see if I'm wrong or if I'm right once again, and we will get higher. That's all I'm going to say. Cheers, everybody. Thank you ever so much, and goodbye. <laughs>